Hello, just hang on a minute. Well, two weeks today, uh, I was interviewed on a local radio station and it's called Alana's Antics on Sunday and it's Red Road FM and they're based near where I live and it's based in the community centre, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a wonderful radio station, Red Road FM. If you get a chance, have a listen. They've got some fantastic programmes. It was really nice to be interviewed. The reason I'm talking about it is because unbeknownst to me and I don't know how I did it I actually recorded the whole program me being interviewed sat on this bench with my headphones on and my iPhone in my hand and I've got the whole interview uh, on uh, video which surprised me when I look back at my videos I don't remember pressing play or record at the time but what's lovely is and I've just been listening to it here Alana's very kindly sent me a recording of the whole show because I don't know if you've ever done a radio interview before I had my headphones on and all I can hear is Alana and she asked me questions and then I replied but I don't get to hear the whole radio station so I didn't get to hear the songs that were played but now I've got a full copy so what I will do is I'll get that put into a little video and we'll get it on uh, under a new section under the radio recordings and you can have a little listen it's about 15 minutes long it's a lovely interview and uh, thank you once again to Alana's antics why not listen in it's on a Sunday morning well, in fact, check out Red Road FM. It's a beautiful morning, actually. It's overcast, but it's quite warm. There's a little bit of wind, not too much. And uh, it's just nice to be out in some fresh air. I'm very lucky I've got outdoor space. But as we've been shown this week, we can grow things anywhere. So I hope you're having success uh, in planting your bulbs and your seeds. I hope you've got some bargains like I've had. Now, why have I got a plastic dish? Well, I like to do this because my wife has coffee pods and I'm not proud of it but we have a lot of these and uh, I've started recycling the coffee inside and it's really simple I have an old screw pop it in the top now once the coffee's out of these these are fully recyclable stick them in the bin and they'll get taken away when all the plastics disappear over the next few weeks and basically what we do is put that in the middle get the other end and I just rub it round and uh, the coffee comes out sometimes <laughs> uh, worst comes to worst I have a great big peg and there you go and then we save all these up and we should by the end of it have enough coffee to fill my tub here and once that's full I go around the plants and I pop them in the base or on, on the base because they love a bit of ground coffee well that's one down I've got a whole bag of those to do and what else have I got here well I save all sorts from the house as you know if I've got a compost heap and uh, well I've got lots and lots of eggshells now they'll be crushed up and they'll be put around the base actually of my uh, cabbages because at the moment as I said the other day they are getting rather eaten and in here I have my favorite things you know me and uh, tea bags and I love this because I just fling them around no matter where they land I put them all around my borders on my allotment, even that side that I'm not even knit. There you go. Whee! And so it protects it from cats. They don't like it. And some of the, uh, well, because we're, we're in a, on the edge of a wildlife area here on the allotment, um, there's lots of other creatures that come that we may not want. And uh, it does help to keep the vermin away. And, uh, well... You can collect all sorts so and don't forget still we've got our cardboard tubes that we can make and uh, more eggshells and more tea bags now if you don't want you can actually directly open the tea bag up and put those on the ground right next to your plants and eventually the tea will soak through and it will uh, give nutrients to the soil <laughs> 